have known for many years, decades of literature, that physical inactivity increases cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, and more recently, depression, cancer, and dementia. How many people in the audience are currently wearing some sort of activity tracker to measure their activity? Okay, so some people in the audience. The minister is, if you notice that. <laughs> Active Pal is an activity tracker, it's an accelerometer that is attached to a person's thigh using tape or if you want to waterproof it with Pegadoon. It's small, it's light. Now at Balmain, we have no idea how many steps our patients are on the rehabilitation or a chair will take. What's the workload involved in downloading the data and who would do it in your system? Well, if you, if, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you throw in an extra one, I can give you one and you can have it. <laughs> The perinatal and family drug health team um, see about 100 women per year and it's women who identify substance use during their pregnancy. Um, about a quarter of these um, women have their babies removed at birth. Half the women that had their babies removed um, entered rehab. So the current standard of practice at the moment is that women may establish their milk supply in the hospital. So I just want you to think about what they might be missing out on. These babies are really vulnerable. They're withdrawing some, most of the time, and actually providing breast milk can help that withdrawal process. Look, we've already got this natural... <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're wasting it. We could use it. We'd like to provide um, a number of breast pumps, and we have one on show here, and the storage bags. And this isn't actually a lot of equipment, really, to maintain it for quite a long time. Uh, are we certain about the sort of safety and all those issues around breast milk. Okay, so I'd like you to close your eyes and imagine. Imagine you're 20 years old. You're eight months pregnant. Your partner just left you and you've just moved to Sydney. You're essentially completely alone, apart from your phone. Over 99% of mums find baby body easy to use and 95% find it helpful in preparing their parenthood. Create your own avatar. And done. Well, hello! <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I'm your avatar. You can watch me play. And I'm here to help work your way through the app through pregnancy and the postpartum period. The proposal is to develop in partnership with pregnant women and key stakeholders the culturally specific content for an Australian version of the UK app. We would like just over $50,000, but $50,000 will do fine. We would say don't reinvent it, perfect it, and not whether you can afford to fund us, but whether you can afford not to. Thank you. Um, I'm here today to pitch for a resource that will allow us to provide an innovative treatment for people with Parkinson's disease that keeps the voice alive. LSVT Loud is the first speech treatment with established efficacy for treating voice and speech disorders for people with Parkinson's disease. Meet Maria. <laughs> my voice is very loud now and very clear. My heart doesn't say anymore. So the total cost comes to $3,900. The companion system is a relatively inexpensive resource with its use resulting in clear cost savings in clinician time. And therefore, I believe this is an incredible opportunity to make a major impact on the quality of life for these patients. I'm Rina, uh, collaborative care coordinator with the mental health team uh, at the Redfern Mental Health Services. And because the, the program is collaborative, many people from Redfern are joining us, possibly the entire population. All of us can remember times when we've had our bloods taken, we they just can't find the vein. And we know what it feels like. We feel like a pin cushion and it really hurts. We have a, a solution and our pitch to you today is catch a vein. The on-site GP has about a 65% rate for first attempt. 25% of consumers may require two attempts. When we do venipuncture and if it's unsuccessful, we have to take the consumers to the liver clinic at RPA um, and have their blood drawn from their neck. The AccuVein uses infrared light which displays a map directly onto the skin surface to locate veins to a depth of 10 millimetres. Using this infrared technology you can easily locate the best vein.
Well, they were all such good ideas, uh, helping different parts of the community, um, and we couldn't knock any of them out.